Greetings everyone, and great here with another Dawn of War 2 replay. I'm on the south side as the... This is blue. As the Lictor Alpha, we have a foreign name. Spawn as the Tech Marine, we have Sky Silver. On the north side as the Ravener Alpha, we have Zero Cry. Spawn as a Tech Marine ally, we have a foreign name. We also got uh, two Hormagon openers here for the Lictor Alpha, while we got two Termagants for the Zero... for the uh, Ravener Alpha. Tactical Marine Squad here, and again, no... nothing. And his team is going for a Hormagon, so he may get ripped apart quite a bit. Tech Marine is starting to engage the Tech Marine, and the Tech Marine does fire back against the Tech Marine. That's a good position. Look, the Alpha is charging forward to get some good damage there onto the Ravener Alpha. But he's very, very unsupported right now. We've got Spore Mines blown up by the Ravener Alpha. The Lick Alpha needs to get back out of there. He's about to get wiped out. He's going to receive a lot of fire and free. 16, 12, 10 health, 8, 0. Way, way too far in. Uh, his teammate is currently doing nothing. A bit of a standoff between the Tech Marine heroes. And his scout squad is running around here. We've got power generators. Mostly deployed out by the Tech Marine. Up north, we do have no power generators. No power generators. So, looks like a blue team will have the power generators up and running before their opponents. It got another attack scout squad. It should help out some field control. Scout squads are good. Now this generator is now under fire. He needs to bring up some force to help out his teammate. We got this Hormagon here as well, but there's just too much fire. His teammate scout squad is here. And what is the look of going? Okay, he's going for a Warrior Brood, but he has plenty of resources stored up as well. So it's not a little bit delayed right there. We also got these Spore Mines that support We'll zone out these Hormagons quite easily. Point is getting deactivated. We've got double sniper deployed out. That's a little bit unusual. And it looks like the hive node does get directed there, knocking out a pair of those swarm mines. And those swarm mines do go down. Another generator will go down as well. So two generators have been bashed as well as point being deactivated. Just go focus fire on these generators. Armor got some target forward as well. And maybe good idea to tie the scouts up in melee. Thermogons getting those force back to those scouts as we've got the Hormagons and the Warrior Brood now advancing. Both of the uh, Hormagons have been upgraded with uh, the Adrenal Glands. Ravener Brood being deployed on out. A lot of heavy infantry and another squad of scouts. Triple sniper scouts. I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. We got Warrior Brood over here. No upgrades on this one, nor on this one. Another squad of Spore Mines, which should be effective versus the Hormagons. And we'll get some damage on the Warrior Brood, of course. Warrior Brood charging for us. We'll get some nice knockback there. And those are the uh, swarm mines are pursuing these termagons or homergons. Another squad of swarm mines. He's investing a lot in swarm mines. Gets some damage on these guys here. He does pick up those swarm mines with the warrior brood. And the electric alpha is still currently down. The tech marine is now trying to bring up his buddy. This power generator is now under siege by these forces. Does get the capture as well. They may just siphon off as much energy as possible. Ravener Hole has been deployed. And now we've got Devastator Marines deployed on now. Trying to find a setup on a good angle. Snipers pushing away forward. One's being, looks like they're being upgraded to sergeants. At least one is being upgraded to sergeants. Need some good damage there. And ooh, we got a hive node here. A, a building that should be very, very difficult to deal with. Currently just leasing a poison cloud. 
Does throw a frag grenade there on the Devastators. Devastators do fall back, taking minimal damage. This Gust Core is falling back as well. The hole has been cleaned up by as well. And looks like this Tech Marine has gone down. The Liquid Alpha can recover him. As a Warrior Brood could tie up these Termagons up in melee to do. Termagons are trying to pursue the Warrior Brood. Warrior Brood does fully go down there. And the Termagon squad make it fully wiped as well. Yes, it does take out a uh, Termagon as well. Big losses there by the Ravener Alpha. Hive Node does not have the artillery ability. I'm really not sure how effective it is. It's just spewing out poison. Doing minimal damage, honestly. It's just durable and hard to deal with at this point in time. Gaunt engaging the Devastators from the Marines in the melee to force them back. The multiple power generators are going on down. Well, it sounds like the Tech Marine has been revived. And this Tech Marine does fall back to fix the Electro Alpha and the Ravener squad. Tech Marine being upgraded with the Artificer Armor. Another generator does go down. And another point is going to be deactivated relatively soon. The sniper's engaging at range. Needs some good hits there. We've got another pair of Synapse generators being pulled out by the... Or all three by the Lifter Alpha. Something to be deployed out there. Maybe more tactical marine squads. It is deployed out by Blue. And maybe upgrade that to Stern Guard Veterans. I have noticed so still seeing quite a bit of fire. will slowly be picked apart. Putting the entire army of both players. Ravener Hole does get cleaned up. Sniper's advance forward, does throw off frag grenade right there, and does get some damage there. We got pheromones upgrade there onto the Lictor Alpha, grants pheromone cloud ability, which reduces damage of enemy units within the target area by 30%. Another Ravenar tunnel being uh, hit. Got capillary tower. These scout squads do fall back. We got these former guns charging forward. Ravener squad does pop out of the ground as well. And Ravener Alpha is falling back. The upgrade of the toxic miasma ability. Spore mines get a decent hit there. Best keep the former guns away from them. They're a little bit too spicy. Or I suppose they're more sour than spicy. Oh, this is going to be a deadly hit. That was a good hit. There. Excuse me. Good hit there. And the Ravener Alpha will be falling back. Tech Marine or the uh, Salt Marine squads are seeing quite a bit of sniper shots there from the scouts, and they do fall back now. And now we've got another Cavalry Tower being deployed on out. Marines are seeing quite a bit of shots there from these scouts, and now we do got a high uh, tyrant guard. Ravner Alpha is already at tier two. We've got tier two being reached by both of Blue and the Tech Marine has already got tier two and is going out for a Razorback. This devastator can be upgraded for a Laz Cannon, which would probably be a good idea for the tyrant guard. Ooh, and the Lifter Alpha is almost going down. Gets a nice special attack there. Does do a full retreat. Look Alpha will escape out 30 health. Does have to upgrade the feeder tendrils, increase the offensive power, grants the strike to heal the Lifter Alpha. Very nice. And now we do have a another capillary tower being deployed on out. And this one is by red, not by blue. 
Ravner Alpha Squad has officially reported has smoked out the enhanced muscle coil, or so interdedicated melee unit, which we just saw the upgrade right then and there. Got the snipe shot there from the Texan Rain's Mastercraft Bolter, and looks like the Ravner, Alpha, Ravner Squad does fall back, so is the Warrior Brood. Spore Mines charging forward against hits there onto these scouts, and on the Termagons as well. And yeah, the, the Spore Mines are not effective enough. Second Marine has been upgraded to the refractor field now and has been upgraded to the Melted Gun. But should be effective versus the Tyrant Guard, given enough time. I've got landmines being deployed out by this Tech Marine. This is Artificial Armor. Both has been upgraded to Artificial Armor to lay down landmines. Got a time node here as well. The Tyrant Guard does escape on out of there. The Melted Gun should take time to finish off the Hive nodes, probably the most effective weapon they have against it at the moment. We got Stormcard Veterans deployed out by this Tech Marine, but this uh, Tech Marine squad has not been upgraded with uh, Stormcard Veterans either. Warwind has been deployed on out, so we've got some uh, constant artillery barges now raiding out in. Warwind needs to start planting itself over here. And this one provides some constant knockback against these forces. Melted Guns getting some good work in there, takes out one of those guys. And these uh, scouts do get spotted there by this scout squad. Quick throw grenade there, does avoid the Salt Marine squads, and now we've got some more barrages knocking back these forces. More barrages running on in, gets some good hits. And now that the Former Guns and Stormguard veterans may engage each other. Former Guns are going to be way outnumbered. They're going to need to fall back a little shortly. Expect all the artillery hitting them as well. Former Guns may get wiped out here. They're going to receive lots of fire. This squad. Yep, here comes the Assault Marines. Uh, they don't get that second charge there, but they still gun it down with the handguns with the support of the poison rounds. Tech Marine will need to fall back. The power to get wiped out. It's going to get wiped out. Going for some melee hits there. And does take out the Tech Marine. Tyrant Node is still up and going. So is the Cability Tower. Tier 3 being researched by both a red team. And now we've got the Library and being deployed out by the blue Tech Marine. Now it's maybe one of the few times where the high explosive rounds may come in handy, seeing that so many guys are stacked up on each other. More missile launches coming on in. Iron Guard does force back the Warrior Brood, and we've got the Melted Gun upgrade and the other Tech Marines. So both of them are up the Melted Guns. And more artillery raining on in. Forcing back the Lift Alpha has been upgraded with the Toxic Cyst. Library and keeps it in. Has the second foot going to the full staff? And the time guard here is starting to hold down. We've got a fresh squad of gene stealers. Librarian and the tech marine are gauging in melee. The librarian should be one out, barring all the whirlwind barrages. So the tower charging forward, we've got some rippers as well. And it's getting inside the garrison. Snipers do great at versus garrison units, and the Tech Marine squad, Tech Marine does need to fall back. Great hits there. And the Ravener Alpha is getting knocked back by the Force Wave. We got two whirlwinds. Jeez, that's going to be a lot of our light, a lot of light artillery support. We now have a Carnifex has been deployed on, is being deployed on out. Because that's the Storm Guard veterans. Only has one scout. You may need a bit more of a front light. Did lose his assault marines. And Blue's getting knocked around quite a bit. Blue has two, a lot of squads on the field. While Red has a lot of higher quality squads. We got the Tyrant Guard engaged the Tyrant Guard. The librarian's going to be tying up the Tech Marine up in the melee. And we've got the armor piercing rounds loaded up by, or now poison rounds, and then hitting the Librarian. The Librarian will need to fall back with us shortly. And this hot Tyrant Guard may go down. The Warrior has some upgraded anti-vehicle weapons. 
and the whirlwinds just coming in from massive barrages. Blues or the red tyrant guard is going to try to charge away. Got the tyrant card effects now charging forward. Maybe the melee variant wouldn't be half bad. This uh Tyrant Guard is to grab fire, try and go for a melt of shot there, because the Tyrant Guard is high melee, but does get taken out by the Tyrant Guard. And now got the melt of shots there onto this one. He needs to stop getting the melee form, melee combat. Does got Gold War Ferris activating as well, knocking around the Tech Marine, trying to stop him from firing that melt of gun. And does the final shot there. Librarian trying to hide the Tech Marine once more in melee. Red Scouts fans forward as the term Red Homergon Squad does fall back. Still no upgrade there on the Tyrant Guard. We've got the Scouts, Sniper Scouts here. It does take out the Red Scouts as well. Red is bleeding off squads, the Red Tech Marine. He is going for a Predator. Homergon Squad will be wiped out. Hermagon squads could be potentially next. We've got Gene Steelers, Warrior Brood, and a Licked Alpha. A lot of melee force. This Hermagon squad is trying to tie up the Licked Alpha with melee. It's not going to be all too effective. The Carnifex needs to focus down the Warrior Brood first, though hitting the Tyrant Guard wouldn't be bad as well. The Carnifex needs is me up with the melee upgrade now. We should grant him what the Seismic Roar ability? Stampede. He does claw some Ripper as well, which come, will come handy, but he needs to get on out of there. He's receiving too much fire from the Warrior Brood. There's a Stampede ability right now. He's needed to use Escape. Rippers are hitting the Tactical Marine Squad. Have an upgrade class with guns. And the Tactical Marine Squad does fall back. The Carnifex is going to make a limp his way back home. And the Ravner Alpha is falling back as well. Some of Barons have captured the power point. They are currently loaded up with poison rounds. And receive a nice cast right there from the Librarian taking out two of his models. The Tech Marine will take out these Rippers. Their job is to be ripped apart, not to rip apart. Does use a crippling poison ability right there. Now, Gene Sailors are advancing forward, trying to type these forces. Warrior Brew is also in the mix as well. This secondary is being swapping his weapons to the Hematic Crafted Bolter. Another Predator tank has been deployed on out. Gain some hits there onto that Tech Marine. Or his own Tech Marine, I should say. Termagon Squad does fall back. Gene Steelers are ripping apart his teammates. These heroes are receiving quite a bit of fire. He's focused on that warrior brood. And here comes a whirlwind barrage. Gets a nice hit there. Another predator has pulled out. Looks like a big mechanized force for the tech marine. Another carnifex is being pulled out by red as well. The library and charger board will receive quite a bit of fire as well. The poison ability has been activated. Another carnifex is poison as well. That library. We'll get fully wide thanks to the Predators. We got the Ravner Alpha engaging along with his Hormagons. He will try to take, a, take down this power point and let's get deactivated, but does not even do that. Down to 12 health. Snipers making some hits there onto the retreat path. Good frag grenade. Yeah, it could have been a little bit better, but just get one model. Devastator getting overran. He does need that for last cannons. This Tactical Marine Squad needs to be upgraded with missiles. Second Carnifex has been deployed on out. And this one has been fully healed as well. Snipers engaging the Termogons. Red Camouflage away, hitting the Warrior Brood. Let's get one of the models there. Tyrant Guard is still in the region. And now we've got a Swarm Lord being pulled out by the Lictor Alpha. You have the Strangle Form Cannon, the infantry weapon. But they, at this point in time, they'll soon need the anti vehicle weapon, which you will not be able to get. But it's there. Tyrant the Guard, we've seen quite a bit of fire as well. Barb Strangle Cannon. Does get hits there. It does force back the scouts. 
think he took out his own Swarm Mine right there. Bird tanks are advancing, gets good hits there. Swarm Ward has been employed on now. The Swarm Ward does pose a massive threat. He is going for the Tech Marine first. The, there's a, this Carnifex needs to start focusing down, hit the supporting force, getting four Spectre Warrior Brood. Very good. This warrior, uh, Swarm Ward is getting some, a lot of hits there on the Tech Marine. Bird tanks coming for as well. Both of them have upgraded last can. That's a little bit overkill to hit that Swarm Lord. Though I suppose he could take out the Carnifex Great Supreme. The Swarm Lord would likely go down to those last can's predators. And there goes the pred uh the Swarm Lord. Very, very quick. That's one of the quickest sites I've ever seen a Swarm Lord go down. Red is to start with the largely stabilized. They also head in BPs at the moment. Thermocrat squad received a nice little cast there. The tech marine does go down, saves his whirlwind. Iron Guard is seeing a bit of fire. We've got the Carnifex now engaging. Right now, Team Red Team has a lot of armor. They're maintaining double capture as well. And it looks like their Alpha is dancing around. Maybe we'll get a hit there on the Tech Marine. And some great hits there as well. And the Warwind is a Long range weapon, not close range weapon. Gets a nice knockback there. And Tech Marine does activate a shield generator. And you've got the Storm Guard veterans now in the region. Running the Whirlwind. The Whirlwind doesn't have a whole lot of armor for being armor. And something we called on there's a. Is that the drop pod reinforcements? Let's take the Lictor Alpha there. I'm not sure what this is yet. Ah, uh, it's a Venom Brew. I thought it was going to be the Hormagon and the Termagon. Let's take out the Whirlwind right there. Nice little pick. Those who looked at Alpha and returned. Carnifex charging forward. For Spectre the Librarian. That's how fresh Librarian is, isn't it? Carnifex is starting to Carnifex. This one's being upgraded to the Venom Candy range of vehicle weapons. This may have been have trouble versus two last and Predators. These guys have an upgrade of the rending claws, getting an anti vehicle weapon. Is that an orbital strike? Uh, I'm not sure whose orbital strike, though. It looks like it's Red's orbital strike. Get some damage there. Four mines gets annihilated, not big surprise. Tech Marine's still alive. Last hit, Predators dancing around. We got the barbering mechanic and some good hits on it. And it looks like the melee Carnifex does go down. Venom Cannon's firing. Fired Fire Plasma, large miss there. Last Cannon Predators could advance forward. He may need to use Global Repairs as well. Fire Fire does fall back, seeing a bit too much fire there. Barb Trainer Cannon finds a hit. Good knock back there onto the Tech Marine. Barb Trunk Panic gains some good hits there on those scouts, completely wiping out one of those scouts. Let's get Predators being pursued by the GTOs and Warrior Brood. Got something caught on right there. I think it's dropped the floor. It is uh, Terminators hitting the red Predator as well. These Predators need to fall back. Venom Cannon's going to be tied up, or Venom Brood's going to be tied up in melee by the Barb String or Cannon, the card effects. This Venom Cannon's getting some good hits on in. Got the Formicons and uh, Ravener Alpha charging forth. Ravener Alpha has been upgraded with the Acid Spitter. And we've got the Burrow Trap now being activated. The Carnifex is pursuing the Carnifex. And thanks to the higher health of the Barb Stringer one, he's able to get some good damage on in. Always has some more Spore Mines. Venom Cannon fires a shot there. 
may get another shot off. Tyrant Guard in pursuit. Swarm Mines charging forward. I'm not sure how effective the Swarm Mines are versus a Karma Effects. It does take up the Barb Strangler uh, Karma Effects. Now we've got a Land Raider Redeemer being pulled out by the Tech Marine with two Predators. Which that is two Giant Flamers, which would be a good complement to the two last Cannons Predators. The Lurie Towers are starting to get cleaned on up. Oh, of course, these Terminators being very, very problematic. Brush card effects here being upgraded for the melee upgrade. And Tech Marine is going to take time to repair up these Predators. Is, that's his only repair squad out in the field. Other than the global repairs. Scout squad does fall back. And looks like the hole is going to be cleaned on up. Oh, trying to go for the kill there on the scouts. Unable to wipe on either of them. These Hormogons to fall back on some rippers in the region. Warrior Brew gets some hits on the Termogons as well. And we've got a Cyclone Missile Launcher upgrade there on the Terminators. Trash is such a gun. Very nice. Looks like Red is just pulling up their forces. Got the melee Carnifex charging forward. Last game Predators are here to support. Got the knockback wave. Knocked back the Storm Guard veterans. At least one of them. Trash gun has been deployed on now. Terminators are now receiving beta fire. Mason Cyclone Missile Barrage up here. Now Land Raider Crusader for Redeemer is now being deployed on out. Massive flame throwers with a couple of force as well. Could charge forward against the other flamer in the fight. Got the Venom Cannons as well. The last game predator should be able to deal with that. Bioplasma does connect with the Land Raider Redeemer. Give us some damage as the Iron Guards charge and forward try and tie up these Terminators up in melee. These uh Vehicle so far, the Tech Marine should just advance forward. I just have to capture this from this Lucker Alpha. And it looks like the uh, Lucker Alphas will be tying up the Storm Guard veterans up in melee. If it doesn't have a lot of things to sell, getting up capture I like that will hurt. Missile launcher connected on through? Or oh, was that a Cyclone missile? Oh, it's a missile launcher uh, turret. We're going to fall back, got the Tactical Marine Squad just trying to defend this point. Vibrant charging forward as well. We've got enough red points for a orbital strike for the blue Tech Marine. And a granite formation for blue as well. And here comes the orbital strike onto the Land Raider Crusader. Let's get a stun grenade right there. Hitting the Storm Guard veterans as well. And the Venom Cannons connecting as well. The Land Raider Crusader goes down for Redeemer. Nice quick strike right there. That may have won blue the game. Tyrannic formation. In fact, he has a lot of red points for Tyrannic formation. So he's going to today and get out too. We got another, a lifter to switch lifter alpha as well. Able to hit the other point. Let's fall back now. Ravener alpha trying to recapture the point. Lifter could grab the Ravener, right? And here comes the Tyrannic formation. It does miss the lifter or the Ravener alpha. Or, yeah, Ravener alpha. Ravener Alpha will recapture that point. Richter's charger four times the turn got some melee. And here comes the uh, Lictor jumping on forward. The Lictor Alpha is going to try and hit that uh, Ravener Alpha. And it's got a Venable Dreadnought being deployed out by Blue. Venable Mechanics are nailing that uh, Carnifex right there. It's a melee Carnifex. Predators have not been able to deal with the Venom Brew, the Venom Cannon of the Carnifex. And it looks like uh, the war would be taken after that BT. And this may be game. Red is like going to lose her rate. He's going for Swarm Lord. And those are Cyclone Missiles. 
Venom does go down. There goes a the Predator, Last Cannon Predator. And now the uh, Metabolic Dreadnought's Charter 4 has been researched with Dark Age technology. Good damage there. We've got another ability tower. And the uh, look that does jump on it gets great knockbacks. Last Cannon Predator engaging the Ven uh, Venerable Dreadnought. He's probably going to win now, but it's going to see a lot of fire. Look, their alphas can see quite a bit of fire, and red is about right out of BPs. And the Venom and the Venerable Dreadnought does not go down. This is Anna Gray, Washington, and on to the next replay.